making a other video here on this mystery eBay turbo I picked up real cheap. But I caught myself uh, screwing up the nomenclature again on uh, wheel trim. So I was talking about this turbine and I said that it was a low trim wheel when in fact it's a high trim wheel. So that trim description, high or low, is talking about a high or low ratio of uh, inducer, exducer wheel diameters. So a higher trim, higher ratio number is going to be like this turbine wheel, closer inducer to exducer. But then counterintuitively, you can see that the profile has very little trim. The actual amount of material that's been removed during that machining process is lower. So the less that has been trimmed off the wheel, the higher the trim of the wheel. So it gets confusing when you're talking about this, when you're looking at it. Uh, looking at the compressor side, this is a lower trim wheel. So a, a lower ratio of inducer to exducer. And essentially, the higher that ratio, the higher the trim, the better it's going to have in terms of efficiency at high RPM and high power. That being said, the lower the trim, the better it's going to have in terms of pumping effect or efficiency. So on the compressor side, better efficiency at turning that inducer air into pumped compression. And if we were to have a lower trim turbine, uh, higher efficiency in taking that incoming exhaust gas velocity and turning it into spool up. So hopefully that clears it up a little bit and uh, hopefully it proves to you guys that I actually know what I'm talking about and looking at when I'm making these videos, though I'm almost certain I will continue to screw that up because it is so non-intuitive when you're looking at it. So bear with me and uh, I'll complete this video and get it posted up by the end of the day.